OK, let's take a look at some of the other things you can do with Audacity that you might need if you've got a recording of your own voice or a recording somebody else has done for you, maybe an interview. And there's a few more bits of editing you'd quite like to do to it. I'll show you some of the things you can do. So let's go to File and Open. We'll open Test 2 and click Open. Now you remember this bit here. This is where a bit where I went very, very loud and I showed you how you could delete it by clicking the cut or clicking the delete button on your keyboard. Well, there's something else you can do with it. You can actually, if you highlight it, and if you want it to become more um, in line with the rest of the audio, i.e. you want it to be vaguely the same, all the same um, level, then you go to Effect and you go to Amplify. And you might want to play with this uh, just to make sure that you get it at the right level but based on experience I would say if I go to minus 3 dB amplify by minus 3 that should reduce it enough so we're going to click OK and you see that that file has reduced um, now that's a pretty good level I would say for your audio um, if you Unfortunately, you can't change the fact that when I play that, I still sound like I'm shouting, even though it's not excessively loud anymore. That's, I'd say that's a fairly good level, but uh, I now want the rest of it to, to be at the same level. And I shall do this with the amplitude Amplify button again. There are other ways you can do it, and I'm just going to amplify it by two this time to make it louder. As I said, you can actually preview this as well to make sure, but... Um, good thing is just to play with the levels with the minuses and the and the obviously positive numbers and just get levels to different seeing what works best for you and I'm going to do the same with that one I've just left clicked highlighted what I want clicked effect clicked amplify and two again and that's made it a fairly nice level. That's still a little bit louder, as you can see, but I think that, that will work very well. Now, this obviously works for things if you just want to get the whole of the audio a little bit louder. The problem comes if maybe you've recorded something and you are sounding quite quiet, but there's a lot of background noise, for example. Well, if you just amplify the whole thing, then all you're going to do is make yourself a bit louder but you'll still be making the background noise loud as well so in that particular case there's uh, something you can do if you've got a little bit too much background noise and you don't like it then this is what I suggest you do go to effect oh if you want to highlight the whole thing which we do click you can just click there on your on that little box just to do a left click and it will highlight the whole thing so you don't have to keep left clicking and dragging your mouse across so let's go to effect and we're going to do noise removal so you want to get your noise profile oh it's taken it from the whole thing let's let's do it differently let's get the noise profile just from a bit where there's background noise only let me just check that by clicking play See on that there is a little bit of background noise, a little bit of hum and background noise and you can see that really, if you zoom in, you can see that's a, not a completely straight level line, there is a little bit of noise there. It's not too bad and I personally would have kept that in, a uh, little bit of noise, does, you know, a little bit of atmosphere doesn't matter. But if you've got quite a bit of background noise then highlight a bit that um, isn't where you're speaking, go to effect, go to noise removal, click get noise profile and it will get the the bit you want to filter out it will get a general overview of the bit you want to filter out so that's it so then we'll click here click the whole thing effect noise removal now I always find they set it a little bit too high so I'm going to move it down a bit but I can preview it so if I click preview now you can hear what the audio will sound like just the first bit without this background noise 
That's not too bad, actually. The only thing I find with noise removal is I try not to use it too much anyway, and I try not to do it on too high a setting, because I find that the audio comes back quite tinny. Uh, it loses a lot of the depth in the audio, so personally, I prefer to only use noise removal if it is a really bad recording and you've got a lot of really bad noise. But you can do it just a little bit, just to um, improve the sound of, of the audio so your voice really stands out but if you don't like it in the preview you don't have to accept it that's not too bad so I'm going to accept that you just click remove noise and the file will remove the noise for you and as you can see actually there if you zoom in again oh oh no I didn't want to do that I've got to click the wrong one Okay, this is a, a good lesson for us. I clicked, instead of clicking zoom in, I clicked undo, 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 which I didn't want to do. <laughs> I didn't want to undo at all. So we're going to click redo again. That's it. We're back to where we started. So if you I'll click the right one this time, if you zoom in, <laughs> the zoom in button, you'll see where there was a lot of, um, of distortion um, in what should be quiet between you speaking. There's now almost a perfect solid line so that has worked quite well and when you listen back to it and actually I quite like that it's um it's not too tinny it's just taken enough of the noise out that it's uh, it sounds quite good so um, I'm happy with that so we're going to keep that in if you don't like it do what I did there <laughs> click undo but just don't go mad like I just did <laughs> by doing it by accident and finally for this video I'm going to show you something else if you highlight the whole thing I shouldn't do it that way should I, I should do it the quick way if you highlight the whole thing there's another thing in here now a lot, a lot of audio comes back with lots of clicks and pops and odd sounds so if you click on click removal you can set the threshold um, and again preview it just to make sure it doesn't do anything too strange to your audio um, I'm going to make that higher I don't want it too sensitive. Just want to get out any major clicks and pops. Let's preview that again. It's a shame you can't hear this, but you know, it, it is again a case of um, playing around with it and finding the setting you like. Okay, I'm going to just make that a little bit more, that a little bit less. Believe me, if you don't like the sound of your own voice, you'll hate it by the time you've edited your voice a little bit. You start to just hear everything in your voice you don't like. And believe me, even as a voiceover, you do. So um, I'm going to click Remove Clicks, and that will just take out some clicks and pops in there that we all have in our natural speak, or most of us have. Um, or that just come on the microphone, maybe, just, you know, a funny noise that, that's in the background, a little click of the mouth, um, and that would just help to take out some of those as well. So now we've got a very cleaned up audio. I'm quite happy now with my uh, voice track. I'm not gonna do any more with it, I don't think. I think we've done everything that we need to do. Um, just check. Yeah, I'm quite happy that we've done everything we need to do at the moment with that track. So I'm going to save it. Export as an MP3. Let's go to audio. I'll make that test four. Um, and I'm going to click save. And that audio is now ready to be mixed with some music and in the next video I'll show you how to uh, bring some music in and edit things with two tracks very simply.